And the answer is yes, we've got a great home here for people who sell IULs. Um, my name is Grady Polson. I am super excited to get on here. Sean sent a rip roaring message yesterday morning uh, to a lot of our leadership group about the power of IULs and what we're doing as a company and the progression at which we're going from this heavily, heavily instituted mortgage protection and final expense company to starting to heavily transition into an IUL powerhouse. And um, it was a very, it was a wonderful message, always powerful coming down from Sean. And here is insight, what he sees on the forefront of the industry, dealing with the top, top people, dealing with the CEOs and CFOs and CTOs and CMOs and COOs of billion dollar companies. And then what he can then delineate down to us and what we can then see from his bird's eye perspective and then go out there and make it happen in the industry. And so today, my call, this focus is to help you, this is a builder's call, right? I might throw some sales stuff in here here and there. I might start talking about word tracks and things that will help you make money. But what my number one goal is to take you from that, being that cashier at Chipotle, if you're not sitting there working, you're not making money, which is us selling. Now we're incredibly high paid cashiers here making money to the person that owns 20 Chipotles, the person that is making money as a business owner. And we can do that here in our industry and our company with the power of override income. And so we're going to talk about that here today. I got some notes I'm going to pull up and I'm excited to spend some time with you. Uh, if you're excited to spend some time with me, drop a one in the chat below. Uh, and I just, you know, I, I like some interaction. What's up, Schmidt? What's up, Des? Good to see you guys. I, you know, what you give to me, I give back. And if you can see, I'm a fairly energetic guy. I'm pretty happy. I'm, 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 I look, I'm a glass half full, glass three quarters full. I'm a, I'm a let's cut the glass in half and make the glass full kind of guy. And that's just kind of who I am. And it's, it's served me well. And I've, I've put myself in a position where I protect my brain. And I heard old Jim Rohn stuff growing up and Brian Tracy and, and what you guys can give to me, I'm gonna give right back to you because that's what this is, right? A rising tide raises all ships. And I'm gonna do my best to kind of give you some insight um, into as the topic that I started with, um, you know, per Sean, per my buddy, Zach, is how to recruit IUL producers at other companies. Now, granted, we can always harvest, right? We can plant seeds and create new producers. But if there's someone selling another company right now, how would we introduce them to what we do here? How would we give them insight into, hmm, that company's got retreats and that company has cash bonuses and that company has an incredible amount of lead opportunities. And that company has a, a, a ton of carriers and just a very healthy ecosystem. Oh, also, every, there's a, a massive conglomerate of people that sell a lot of insurance there. And, you know, I don't know about you, but you're probably here because this world produces at a higher level than the one you came from or the one that maybe you grew up in. And being inside of a world where a Juan Franco exists or where... Um, some of our Steve Giordano's exist, Harold Durana's exist, where these uh, these mega producers are putting up huge numbers goes, you know, 6% body fat is probably not possible for me. But being at the gym and going, I'm here each and every day because 15 would feel really good, right? Being at a being in an environment where these these big producers goes, if they're here. I should be here and I should get other people here with me. So let's talk about that. And let's talk about why you're in such a good place. And then some places to find great people, word tracks. And then I'll give you some uh, some closing resources that could take your production to the next level, as well as your agency building. So, all right, appreciate you. Thank you for joining me. And uh, let's get on. So let's start with why. Why IULs? Why IULs in 2024? Um, well, why not IULs? I believe they came out in, if you know, correct me and someone can drop in the chat if I'm wrong. I'm, uh, but I believe they came out in 1999. And 1999, there was 20 ish companies that had an IUL. And fast forward now, those initial IULs are starting to 1997. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate you for being, for, for, for helping me out here. But they, they, they came out in the 90s. So we're 25 plus years. We're at a point now where properly structured IULs back then are starting to do what the intention was to create tax-free retirement income for the people 
they started paying into them, taking advantage of living benefits, the life insurance. Hopefully they didn't take advantage of the life insurance, but also taking advantage of the thing that we focus on with IULs is that tax-free retirement income. Now, from us as a producer, right? Let's talk about as a producer, right? We're all producers here. You wouldn't be on this call. It's tough to build if you haven't sold, right? All my buddies who go, I'm not going to sell. I'm just going to recruit. They don't work here anymore because they didn't make it. You got to sell, right? You just, you got to do it. You, you can't coach if you don't sell. You don't know what the agent is going through if you don't sell. You don't know how to help them with their problems if you don't sell because you haven't been in the fight. You haven't been dealing with Betty and, and Bob and their son who walked in the door while you're trying to close a policy for $250 a month. And he goes, what are you buying? And you got to take back control of the phone call, right? This is part of the business. So in, for an IU Wells, though, we look at where we are today and what we're seeing from a leadership and, and company standpoint is persistency. And let's talk about what persistency is. It means in the first 13 months of the policy, how many are going to still be on the books on month 13 and a day, right? Month 13 and a day. So I don't know, someone do the math for me. Is that 400 and... 400 or 398 days, something like that. 365 plus 30, that 396 days. So how many policies are going to be on the books on day 396? In our traditional simplified issued world, what we're seeing and what we're happy with, what the companies, the carriers, billion dollar companies are happy with is 70%. 70% means so out of 100 policies you sell, 70 of them should still be on industry average, still on the books on day 396. Where 396 come again, Grady? 13 months and a day. So 365 days in a year, plus 30 plus one. Um, okay, and so 70%. By my you know, normal, uh, below average brain, that's a C minus, okay? That is a C minus in the schooling system. If my boys came home with 70%, they'd be doing a heck of a lot more chores and a heck of a lot less iPad time, right? And, and the thought process is, um, when I was in college, I had to get Bs, then my parents would pay for my stuff. As soon as I got Cs, I got kicked off the parental support wagon. So Cs aren't very good, but somehow this billion trillion dollar industry got okay and comfortable with a C minus success rate. Pretty crazy, right? I mean, if you actually think about it, that's pretty crazy. Now, we've got great producers around here. Shout out to Wiley Hawkins, who sends flowers to every policy over 100 bucks. Shout out to the producers that are using Google Forms and asking for referrals from their clients. And any referral that comes in and books an appointment, they send them a $10 Amazon gift card. Shout out to the agents that send thank you cards still. Shout out to the agents that do call up follow backs and calls and follow-ups and check with the client and does a does a policy review at, at three weeks after they sell it, does a client review three, six, and 12 months after they sell it to solidify. There are agents that have really high persistency, 80s, 90s, 90, in that 90 healthy range. They're sadly the exception, not the rule, right? Because most people get that sale and they go, they start already spending it on, they start spending it in their head before it actually even hits the bank account. Because we're, you know, we're as human beings, we we like uh, that that dopamine rush, that absolute just fiery dopamine rush we get from a sale. And we just go, oh, it feels so good. I want to go make some money and and move from there. And, and I want to do it again, right? But the thank you cards and all that stuff, like at times it be, it's the work. So, you know, start selling, get yourself some staff and offload that process. But in this business, 70% is standard. And that is crazy. But what does that mean? That means just work harder, get better. So we look at that and we go, so that's final expense. That has a home for generally some more senior, maybe less financially um, financially embedded people, some people that are have some health issues. They're not as healthy, right? We've got term, maybe people that are more budget conscious right now. They, they, they already got a 401k with work. You don't have a ton of time to try to explain an IUL to them, right? There's a great line of business, guys. Sell them what they want, then educate them and sell them what they need second, right? Get the sale, right? Get that term sale. Get that final expense sale. Build a relationship. Ask them for some children whole lives. 
Get them put in with an accidental or two. Get hooks in the back of your clients, right? Hook them in. They're like a big shark out there in the ocean. Get that hook in there, right? And now you've got them as a client. Now we've got an opportunity to educate them. Do some follow-up drip campaigns with some text. Do some follow-up drip campaigns with some emails. Send them some educational videos. Send them some books I'm going to share with you here in a second. They might educate them if they've got some income, but they're very, you know, they're reserved. They've got their financial planner. They don't want to talk to you about IULs or annuities. They've, they've got everything on lockdown that they don't. Listen, hey, I just need term, bro. I don't, I don't want to go. I don't need your fancy investment stuff right now. I just need the term. Okay, cool, man. You got it. I'm the, I'm the term guy. I can do term all day. Let's go. I got a bunch of different terms. Let's look at some options. What's your health? Medications taken, taken, or been prescribed and chosen not to take, right? So, well, we've got that home. Well, then there's IULs. And IULs across our company, across our carriers, Americo, Moo, Ethos, Columbus, North American, f and and the holy heaven of IULs and LG is 92%. 92%, 92%. I'm not that smart, but I remember getting not great grades and I wish I got more 92% growing up and in college. 92%, that's an A, that is an A. Can everyone drop in the chat A or 92, you pick, but preferably A, throw an A in the chat below and understand that yes, some of the sales cycle might take longer. Understanding the proper word tracks might take longer. Underwriting might take longer. Carriers might take longer to get. It might take longer. Yes, I, I get it. But if I'm selling and it's my money on leads and my time away from my family and it's my time with these clients and what, seven out of 10 are gonna keep it and 90.2 people are gonna keep it, where should I spend my time? Now, granted, everywhere's got a home, right? Everything's got a home. That's why you're a broker. That's why we don't see, we don't bring you an FFL. We give you a a, a, a three pamphlet and two products. That's a, a final expense and a graded final expense and say, good luck, Betty. We don't do that here. We set you up as brokers. So you can market all kinds of different products across the whole uh, product sphere of different products. So that's where... I'm trying to just get you some confidence here. One is a producer, but two is these are the type of people that you want to bring into your world as clients, but also producers that get this mindset, right? If, if 2018, Andrew went, listen, Grady, I got this batch of products that you sell, three out of 10 are going to cancel. And this batch of products, if you sell, less than one will cancel. I might be in a different financial position today, Andrew, with love, I'm just playing, but you know, everything works out the way it should as the business continues to evolve, right? Because there is a home for final expense. There's veteran leads that I got to uh, shout out to Dom and Des and Marissa and that whole team. They're running veteran leads and people have their IUL leads and they got their mortgage protection leads. Run what you're comfortable with. But I just wanted to give you some bigger picture insight to understand that if if you are have been a big recruiter, right? If you've been a big builder and you've built a business and maybe right now you're kind of managing because you know I've recruited a lot of people that have sold me off the river about how incredible they were going to be and how you know how they could you know they they could sell iced Eskimos and ketchup popsicles to women in white gloves and I gave them high comp and you know what they did? They came in and rolled me debt, Frankie. Shocker, right? You know, <laughs> shocker. You know. But they were selling some some private lead source, and they do. I mean, so so at times you progress. There's peaks and valleys to everything. Coming to this business, you're moving through it. You're pushing. You're going for it. Well, we're at a precipice right now, guys, as a company with incredibly high comp. Of course, a lot of companies don't have parties and retreats like we do. They don't have incredible conventions like we do. They don't have cash producer bonuses. They don't have cash builder bonuses. They don't have the high comp we do. They don't have, they don't have the additional perks. Who was I talking to? Trans, just randomly trans. They've got a trip to Deer Valley. The guy was hitting me hard. He's like, if you're going to sell final expense, you should be selling it with trans. We take everything. And if you hit a hundred, you know, you could qualify for a trip to Deer Valley, Utah. And I was like, 
Sounds beautiful. You know, thanks, Steve. And so, but you, you, a lot of companies, what they do, other companies, not FFL, is instead of those trips that you earn as a producer, whatever you hit, say you hit that 100 families protected, they just take that money and they keep it as the company and go, oh, we don't have trips. We don't have trips here. I'm sorry. So you have all this opportunity for you, but all this opportunity to recruit with, to bring people into this world to go, you know what? This actually seems like a really positive place, a really uplifting, driven, focused place where I can build a home, where I can hunker down and I can recruit into and I can build my book, right? I had an agent one time. She goes, I want a 10,000 clients. My goal is 10,000 clients. And she, and she, I mean, and, and, and one of the thought processes is like her whole life and, and IU wealth percentage, it's small. We get the beauty of this insurance industry. We get a lot up front. We get a truckload up front and then we get an envelope with a couple of grains of sand forever. Right. Or at least for 10, 15 years sometimes. And her thought process, if I get 10,000 clients, right. So for you guys, are, are you understanding that one, but two, are you, can you recruit with that? And the answer is yes. We've got a great home here for people who sell IULs. How many, Frankie, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I, we have seven IULs carriers, seven, eight main ones. That's a lot. That's plenty. You could do a, you could do a lot of damage with just Americo, let alone having all these other companies. People go, well, I want, I want Bob's IUL that, that he sells down by the farm racetrack. You know, I heard about this one. They've got this one bonus point percentage and they take advantage of the Barron's 7,500 index with the VIX, you know, mixer on top and a cosmopolitan, you know, S&P 500, uh, you know, eraser widget. And I'm just like, dude, you need to talk to people. How much insurance have you sold in the past 30 days? Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to get started. And man, okay, well, cool. We're a great place to get ready to get started. And we're a great place to finish out your entire career.